Now, the problem I got now, brilliant teacher, brilliant teacher, by the way, the only problem I got is when one video you spoke about Mike Anderson, you spoke about these moon reflectors, and I'm thinking, like, what is this agenda with space, man? What is it you talking about? The astronauts went to the moon when they went to the moon, right? When everybody know this moon achievement right during the time of the space race uh, they went on the moon put reflectors on the moon I guess to harness to harness the light of the moon or reflect the light from I don't know but the whole deception behind this the whole deception behind it is way deeper because you got people battling with themselves wanting to believe in space or some extraterrestrial being outside of the norm when we when we see them walking the plane all day every day all day every day so basically you saying because if we add in The true transitioning factors of how you get through a portal because why would they be making equipment to I'm open for debates all of that if you see this I really don't it don't matter to me but I'm just stuck on a fact that a brilliant teacher can teach that this is actually a fact having moon reflectors and you might have even more teachings about how you correlate your teachings to the students you know what I mean so they can grasp what what the lesson is or was <clears throat> but you saying that these astronauts and the people that say that they go into space saying that y'all are dying going to these planes of existence obtaining the physical materials of these planes of existence dying coming back to earth and giving us the information on what just happened and what we just seen go on and all of that when that's not really what's going on to penetrate these layers might you know we will have to transition and it wouldn't be in this form it would be in a form more 
suitable for the transition. Because even with studying one field, not being a field that's commonly studied, plus with the outlook or the energy that set individual has, their outlook on that, on physics, like how you teach it. Is I see it in a way, in a way that's like unique in itself, and you ain't doing nothing but regurgitating the lesson, but you teaching it in a way where people can grasp it. And the moon reflectors ain't it? <laughs> it just not it. the space agenda has to be one of the most depleting agendas because NASA received 60 billion excuse me million a day off of this tax money And the people energy could be used in a more suitable way. Like for our families. Not believing in space. Beliefs. See if we knew. Actually how it worked. Then we wouldn't be in this. This paradigm of belief. But I see the agenda and what's going on. Not sure who the alma mater is for San Diego State Research Center. But then again, it is a research center funded by who? Mm-hmm. This is the journey of the energy. The people who teach in certain aspects of it know it. Energy comes in all characteristics. That's why they smile and be so open. And to teach you everything not pertaining to Teach you the Joker way. Yeah, we I, I learned it, but I didn't get it though. But hey, and things like this have to happen because you got some people with the light, aka knowledge, and they'll be. Throwing, throwing static in the signal. I mean, and Mike, you could not be doing this on purpose. But, man, we got to lose that. Because you too, you too witty of a teacher, man. You too, that ain't your style, man. The people want the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth, bro. So, the moon, the planets, what we calling them, man, all of that will still always be wonders. But we know that this, this light show is having an effect on us. It's fueling the characteristics. It's fueling the activity. All of that. The moon, to me, would be the egg. 
harvesting all of the the energies the true mama when a being learns that on the plane ain't no way ain't no way nurturing is not going on they went to the moon and put reflectors on the moon yeah because they want to be that nurturing nature just like what gave life to them so they want to make it seem like yeah to get anything you got to come through yeah so now it's a tug of war it's a tug of war on the resources and the materials of the organic beings and that ain't something that's for humanity not one set group of people get to make this decision like I said before but to get through these portals you will have to transition change bodies and when they doing the jet they do that breathing them breathing exercises they practicing for the jet travel they they do them breathing exercises and people actually be passing out can't handle the g-force when it's not really g-force it's the density of the material the density of the layers the farther you go up and they learn how to imitate that for them to practice the breathing exercises but they can't even master the breathing exercises through that some people do though but that don't even matter because your body's not even equipped to go through any of that rapid change because you in a, a, a school basically where you supposed to be learning you and a you do a layer at a time some people can do multiple layers at a time this is where we see people thinking out the box you know what i'm saying out of out the norm but mike anderson know what he's saying about these moon reflectors ain't the true deal and i just wanted to point that out because he's a professor of physics, the physical fiber material. He know how he knows how it it bends, it twists. He knows what chemicals makes it. Man, don't let these people play. I'm just saying, if you want to uphold that title, be that and do that. Don't play with the title because the people hungry. <laughs>